Hello stylers! Welcome back to the Full Sighting channel with another video. My name is Nadia and I am the host and founder, creator of Full Style Inc. It is officially spooky season! I am so, so very excited. If you can't tell by the thumb card, the thumbnail, the title, this is our first video in our 2023 Halloween series. I'm so very excited. I absolutely am so happy that I'm able to film the content I want to film this fall. So excuse the appearance and excuse the fact that if I am whispering and <laughs> be trying to be very, very quiet, I am babysitting my nephew this weekend and so he's currently in nap time and so i quickly came in here it got myself somewhat presentable to film this intro and the voiceover portion of this video so that i can get this up and out to you guys and it it's due time because i'm trying to stay what consistent so without further ado let's get into it this year i'm starting off with a fun cute slightly simple it varies in degrees a poison ivy costume i have wanted to be poison ivy since i was a child like honestly her her interest into the batman movies in the 90s was so iconic that movie is so underrated the whole genre the whole series that tim burton did with um val kimmore and george clooney um picking up where he left off so underrated and honestly it is a cult classic and those visuals of all four of the movies is burnt into my mind like oh my god jim carrey's riddler oh my god so anywho i've always wanted to be a poison ivy and so i wanted to take it and give it all my own interpret spin give her like a homegirl street curl type of vibe um this wasn't a challenge it was a test of pure will to keep going we had a road to go and travel on so without further ado if you're interested in seeing how i created this look um stay tuned for makeup um the makeup tutorial and real cute short is on my tiktok but it will be posted on youtube shorts later at a later date so let's get into this video y'all so putting on my sketchbook i know i needed to visualize what i was looking for and what i wanted so i did a quick sketch and gathered the materials that i had thrifted to work with and so i knew i wanted to do a cute little crop top something that i could wear even outside of this and that i could layer with a a shirt underneath that i did end up using <laughs> I want some cute little shorts because I wasn't going to give a full leotard or bodysuit and either a pair of tights or a sock to go into that to bring the whole look together and then some fingerless gloves because she has those iconic fingerless gloves with the little um, ivy in the palm for the pheromone dust. So I was really, really excited. So I know you guys have said that you would like sh me showing a bit of the creative process. So this is me sketching out all the things that I need to do, all the things that I have, all the things I need to buy, and what I was already working with. As you can see, I have a box from ThreadUp. I purchased three garments from ThreadUp in this beautiful jade emerald green and it worked perfectly together. First up is this velvety bustier um, like cami top from Shein that I got from ThreadUp. Um, next is this blouse that has these sheer polka dotted texture sleeves it would be perfect for the gloves and lastly is this dress awesome she in i don't know what the dress is the dress looks hot mess um the hem is janky y'all be don't tell me y'all be paying for that on she in i will fight y'all's dollars um but anywho it's gonna be a great base for my shorts starting off with this top 
the bustier crop top was simple i just wanted to crop it so that i could get it cropped in my waist and i just simply put it a pin and then i'm gonna go in and i am going to cut that mark it where it, i need to mark it and then go ahead and cut it dipping it down in the back so i can give it a little bit more coverage to go you know for my booty And then I'm going to simply finish that off with a simple roll, roll over hem to make it nice and clean. Next, I seam ripped the sleeves off camera and I'm going to lay those out, put those on my arm, see how I want them to lay and fold. Um, I'm going to use the part that usually goes up into like the shoulder and I'm going to have it laying over the top of my hand so that it could cover the top of my hand as if it was like a fingerless glove with a little ring around it. And now I'm just taking um, roughly with it, the sleeve inside out, taking some pins and pinning that so that I can give myself a rough guide of where to sew to make this fit around my forearm. And once I'm happy with that shape, I am going to, of course, mark that, sew it, try it on, and then do the same. Once I'm satisfied with both sleeves, of course, I'm going to go in with a final stitching to stitch everything together, finishing off the seam, and then we have to end that whole saga with a celebration. So, once I'm happy, happy, I am going to clean off the ends, the top and the ends and the top seam, which um, becomes to be unnecessary because I finished the ends off with velvet left over from the shirt but if you are not going to use that or if for whatever reason you're going to do something different finishing off that end with a simple um, small roll hem is going to be good with this type of sheer fabric that frays like crazy so you can see me here going in with the velvet to add a nice little cuff on the top and the bottom to add some more texture and weight to it as well as as him the velvet is stretchy so it acts as almost like elastic to help the sleeves stay up on my arm and around my wrist all right last piece we are going into these slightly tragic shorts I used a trusted um, short pattern that I've used before and I took apart the skirts from the dress I separated the bodice of the dress and the skirts um, seam ripping that and laid that flat to cut into my shorts I didn't care about you know science or whatever I just wanted to make sure this fit and I cut the pieces that I need front and back two of each sewed the sides together sewed the crotch together tried it on it was like okay i like it it fits i did try it on camera um really liked it and i was like okay i can go in simple with like some snaps or hook and eye for closure and just play around with what i'm gonna do with the vines to give it the look that i want so after trying on the shorts I cleaned off the ends, made sure everything was even. I took more of that skirt material to create a waistband and did the, what I do with the waistband. So right sides together, clean off the inside, fold over, tuck in the edges, sew in the ditch, top stitch on the right side of the fabric. So, wow. The shorts don't make it. But I wanted to show you them in case you was interested in making your own and so here I am to the fun part of this, and that is making it poison ivy. Because without the ivy vines, this is just a simple green outfit. So I really wanted to play around with these vines. I cut some single pieces, and at first I was going to glue them on like sporadically, like covering the polka dots. But then I thought to add a little bit more to it so that it didn't seem crazy 
crafty per se and I went in and started actually winding the lines around the glove sleeves and that added so much fun and texture and then I looped it all around so that the finger can act as a little loop to hold the gloves in place on my hands. Um, so I had quite a bit of fun with creating those gloves. I'm very satisfied with those. That is something I definitely, if I was to wear this outfit out, I definitely will be wearing the gloves and the top. Next, we have the cute little crop top bustier, and that one I wanted to keep slightly simple-ish um, because I was going to be building up with the makeup and the hair, so I didn't want to do too much and make it too busy on the top. So I took a few vines and I wrapped those like up and the snake them up and around the the straps of the bustier and then some along the neckline and then down the center and then I left a long loose strand of vines up on one shoulder that can go and wrap around my neck and up onto my face and then I'm showing you what I did with the shorts I played with the side seams um, wrapping them snaking them on up around doing a bit on the leg letting one long one go so that it could wrap around my leg going into my sock which ended up didn't happening but that's okay and the great thing about this look is that you can build it up um you can wear a sheer black or green mesh top underneath the bustier and you can always wear tights i didn't have any green tights but you can use like black tights or thigh highs for that warmth that you're definitely probably 100 percent going to need depending on your your climate um come halloween or the days before halloween so stylists we're here in the makeup i am filming at literally 12 something in the morning my face is breaking out from hormonal acne i am exhausted but we're going to film um like i said my full makeup is on tiktok and will be posted on youtube shorts at a later date but i wanted to show you me with this wig honey child i got this wig out the box and i was like okay she cute she could work i put that wig on a boo that's a lot of hair and that bang, I was not feeling that bang. So I had to do some pinning, some tucking, some figuring out, some switching, some bobbing, some whoop whoop to give her a little life. Okay, Stylers, thank you. So okay, Stylers, here we are for the reveal. <laughs> the reveal is interesting but honestly i have to say i am so very excited i'm proud of what i did um is it more one of my more elaborate costumes that i have done no um is it slightly on the struggle bus i mean you know she was at the stop but somebody picked her up and she helped her on her way so a complete struggle bus but i would have to say i would give my own rating i would give her a seven out of ten from waist up <laughs> those shorts tried to end me i was up at one o'clock in the morning like you will not rip on me like this i cannot believe this oh my god it was so frustrating but i'm so excited that i pushed through and i recorded this and i did what i say i was going to do get it up get it done edited and uploaded so that you guys can have this and i hope this encouraged and inspires someone to make their own poison ivy costume is really simple with the top i instead of gluing the ivy the leaves on i hand stitched them just tacked them in various places because i would wear this top again i would definitely layer this um crop top over something now would i purchase she in absolutely not now, i'm sorry the only reason why she in it ever made it in my household and on my body was because I got a second hand for the pure purpose of cutting it up. <laughs> but anywho, it does its 
served its purpose. The costume is a vibe. It's going to make for great TikToks and Instagrams. You will see that later, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are excited for Halloween and the Halloween content that I will be bringing to you guys. <sighs> I'm so very excited. I'm so, 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 so very excited. Um, next week video is not going to be a Halloween video because I had, I, I, I have a thing that I need to get off. I saw something, I needed to make it, and I started recording. I started doing it and recorded it, so. But, there will be more Halloween content. Let me know in the comments down below, stylers, what is something, what is something you want to make for Halloween? What is one of your wish list goals? Um, Poison Ivy is one of my wish lists. But just like with my uh, Mad Hatter, something that I will be perfecting in later dates. I have done the Mad Hatter three times now. And Poison Ivy is going to be something that I continue to get to a level of perfection. <laughs> if I don't believe if I teach my students not to look for perfection. But a level of excellence. That's the word. So stylist. Let me know what is your... Halloween DIY costume bucket list. What is something that's high on your to-do wish list? And what are you actually going to be for Halloween? I really want to know. Thank you so much for watching Salads. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Remember, you are loved. You are worthy to be loved. But most importantly, always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time, happy Halloween Salads.